Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome to, um, I don't know, part of LaMag. This is Let's Make a Game. I wanted to show you guys kind of what I uh, do to make those thumbnails of my character like in different positions and stuff like that. And I knew how to do this a long time ago, but I haven't been doing it. I just got really lazy about making my thumbnails. And something that's come to my attention lately is my thumbnails cause click-through. The click-through causes views. I'm not doing it for the views, but if I'm putting content out there and people aren't watching it, then I might as well have left it on my hard drive, right? Just that's that's the whole thing. So this is not a, a um, clickbait. This is a tutorial for Roblox YouTubers um, that want to use their avatar in their thumbnails, but don't know how or don't don't know what you're doing. So um, it, you, a couple of things you're going to need. You're going to need GIMP for the actual thumbnail, and you're gonna need Roblox Studio. So let's come over here to create. I'm just gonna do a create new experience and jump in here. We'll let this load. Oh, I'm going to ignore it. Um, I'm going to do a new experience. Base plate, just a, a nice simple one like this. Now the first thing that we need is we're gonna need a copy of our avatar. Press F5, jump into the game. Boom. All right, so right out of the box, I should be in R15. Uh, if you have Anthro or something like that, same stuff applies. It's the it's the things, the legs and the, the arms and stuff, right? So wait until he's not in any kind of animation. And then we're going to go and grab, right click, copy. Okay, so I just opened up the workspace right here. I come down to my little avatar, my model. I right click and I copied him, okay? Now I'm gonna hit stop. And what this does, it puts me back in studio. Now I can right click and I can paste him directly in. And now I have a copy of my avatar. If we go to move, we can move him around different places like that, right? But now I use green screens a lot. Like I'm using a green screen right now. There's, it's great. It allows you to remove elements from a scene that you don't want or make them transparent. So we need the same thing for our avatar. So go ahead and grab a new part, just like this. We're going to set its color over here uh, to uh, here. I know hexadecimal, so uh, red zero zero, green, which is going to be FF, and blue zero zero. Now, if you don't know what those are, it's zero two fifty five zero. So, if you're looking to do it in normal thing, that's that's the regular decimal version. I did the hexadecimal just because I knew it off the bat. Hit OK. Now we have a nice green screen. Um, we can also say don't cast shadows. So there's no shadows being cast from this. So here's the difference. See how uh, there's no shadow on the ground? Now there's a shadow. That's because uh, of the, the way the shaders work inside Roblox and the way the ray casting works. This way it's not casting a shadow and we can set it up like a green screen. Um, we'll go ahead and change the scale. Uh, make sure my model, yep, I'm doing it by one stud. I'm just gonna make this really big. I'm gonna wah like that, and I'm gonna wah like that, okay? And then I'm going to take, and we're gonna go to the move tool. Oh, wait, before we do anything else, make sure it's anchored, boop, like that. Now I'm gonna to go to the move tool. I'm gonna hit Control D, which is duplicate. I'm gonna rotate this, just like that, 45 degrees. And now we're just going to place it on the end like this see how that's that's starting to turn into like one scene is this yeah it's right length hmm. why does this look ah had a little bit of a gap there no gaps and pull up just a little bit that looks good now we should be able to just control d duplicate that again now if you want you can move this all the way down so the, the blue arrow is like right there in the center. And then do a rotate again. Only this time we're gonna rotate it on the Y axis, 90 degrees. Looks like we were slightly off. I'll come back one unit, attach it, and right there. So now we have a little green screen area that we can set our character in. Uh, why is it flashing like that? that is Oh, I had my mouse over it. <laughs> so move your mouse out of the way and it becomes a green screen. So now I can take my little avatar, 
Code Primate. Just move him straight into the scene, like this. Move him up a little bit, like that. There we go. And now I have a beautiful green screen. So I can take my mouse and move off of it like that. Now I am still casting shadows. Hmm, should I cast shadows? Hold on. Let's see. Um, okay, if I grab this one all the way down to this one, cast shadows, no. So I still got something that's casting shadows. Um, is it the hats? Let's do right click, select children. All those have handles, cast shadows, uncheck. Okay, so now nothing's casting the shadow. Now, there's a tool, there's a plugin that I want you to go get. Um, if you go to manage plugins and do a search, you're gonna find this thing called Moon Animation, or Moon Animator. It has a little icon, looks like, looks like this. Okay, make sure you go grab it, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna click that, it's gonna open up, you're gonna go File, New Animation, we're just gonna call this Pose. Hit Confirm. Now we are ready to animate, but we have to have a character or player. So we click on our guy, click on here. Uh-oh. Hold on, click on our guy. Click on here, uh-oh. Hold on, what did I do wrong? Oh, item, add item. Ah, there we go. Hit okay, there it is. So now I should be able to click on him. My character, is now editable. So, oh, hold on, F. Why is it freaking out like that? Uh, anyhow, um, so let's say this time, I, I want him in a sitting position. So I'll grab the leg, turn it up like this, grab the knee, turn it down, oops, that's the foot. Grab the knee, turn it down like this, and grab this leg, put up like this, Grab the knee, bend down like that. And let's say I've got the, I, I don't like the, that. All right, so let's turn slightly, turn slightly. And then we can bend him forward. So just slightly like that. Grab the head, move it up like this. And then we can move the arms like this. Move this arm. Now, the elbow usually bends in like this. Okay, so if we're going to turn the hands, we should probably turn this. But this is gonna make it look weird, isn't it? Yeah, it looks kind of weird. Hold on. And turn the hand, wow, 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 wow. I'm in the wrong angle. So, turn. Forearm, forearm, forearm. No, like that. Actually, could we make this like a jump pose? Jumping, jumping pose would look awesome. Hold on, let's pull the arm back like that. And then I'll put this arm, or this leg, like that. And then grab this one, we'll pull it down like this and this foot whoa no nope. control z control z control z will undo your last movement there we go so now it looks like he's kind of jumping off into the air if i grab that foot there pull up just slightly and we'll do like this superman jump or like a mario jump and then i can turn the hand slightly this way. The forearm should probably turn that way as well. Oh gosh, now I'm breaking my arm. No, control Z, then like that. There we go. And then say, say I wanted to throw like a basketball in my hand or something like that. Then you can add props to it. Here, let's turn this slightly and turn this back. Uh, no, 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 the forearm, there we go. 
Maybe we could turn the wrist slightly like that. There we go. So now I've got like this jumpy pose, right? So what you can do is you can close. Oh wait, wait, wait. Save file. Save. No wait. If I close this, does it stop the animation? Oh, it does. Dang it. All right. File. Open animation. That one right there. Open. There we go. Just drag it off to the side. That's fine. And then we can go and click on our avatar. Hit F to center him. And we've got this beautiful setup for making an awesome, awesome, hold on. Hold on, I gotta select something else. There we go. Awesome green screen. So now, uh, it, if you don't like the name up there, go to the head right here. And there should be, where's the GUI for the head? Or is it under humanoid? It might be under humanoid. Display names could primate. Take that out. Zero. Oh, that didn't that didn't work. What? Parent is code primate. Oh, wait, do I need to Can we just take that out? There we go. That that works. If you name it nothing, then you'll get nothing. Like if there's no name tag. There should be a way to turn that off, I think, though. Right? Fine. Put this back in. Code prime eight. Um, is it under players? Starter players. Show display names. Something like that. Enable mouse look. Auto jumps. Archives. It's been a while. You know what? To make it for a faster video, I'm just going to unname my character. Hold on. Name. There we go. That way we can just get forward moving with the uh, the video. So I, I can't have my mouse on it. It's gotta be off to the side like that. Awesome song. So try and get it as big as you can by zooming in. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. Why is first person mode? <laughs> okay, it's not exactly what I was going for. There we go. Okay, what I might do, there we go. So now I'm gonna go to start. I'm gonna type in snip, snipping tool. Control N for new. I'm just gonna grab a little snip of him like that. So now I have a, what is going on with this arm? Oh, that's my wing. My wing's kind of fading into the background there. I'm gonna hit copy. Let's go into GIMP. Here we go. So once we're in GIMP, I'm just gonna show you the template that I've already got for mine, which is Roblox. This is the one I did yesterday. Removed his mouth and said, no, that was it. Just no, you know. And uh, take the background. We're just going to delete this layer, done. And you can see my avatar was all laid out all by himself. So if I delete that, not delete layer, let's just select that layer and hit delete like this. Okay. Okay. Maybe not go and delete the layer like that. Now I should be able to hit that layer one like this. Hold on. Let's do new layer. Cause I just noticed this is a really big layer in comparison. So delete this layer. Okay. I'm going to hit paste. We're going to center him onto the screen. I'm going to use this little magic tool. All right. Oh, sorry. Over here, you might not be able to see it. We have, it's a floating layer, right click to new layer. So it's got its own layer all by itself. Nice. Use that magic tool. It selects all that green. Just hit delete. Now, the reason that it's able to do that is because I've got a threshold over here on the right, 58.5. I'll show you what happens if you, if you put that up too high. If you have it up here to like 186 and you try and do it, when you select, it's gonna select other colors that are close to that. If you have it too low, the slightest variation in shadows will get turned off. Like you, it'll only delete this portion and leaves extra stuff there. So it's very much a, this balancing act of finding just the right 
amount to select all the green, but none of the avatar. Hit delete and it cuts it out. You're gonna have little parts like this. Grab here, delete, grab there, delete. This little pixel here, that one there. Just kind of go through here, do a little bit of cleanup. Good, 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 good. Now this probably isn't going to be the thumbnail that I use for Dummy My tonight, but just goes to show you how easy it is to make some thumbnails. So I hope that you're enjoying this and please do share it with other people. If you have anybody that's asking questions, if you know anybody that needs YouTuber uh, advice, direct them in this direction. Say, hey, code sent me down in the comments. And then you can choose a different background or you can choose something else to, to use. Uh, maybe some clouds. So uh, let's go. Let's go find some clouds. Okay. Um, let's do this. Since Toolbox has so many cool things, let's go to uh, View, Toolbox, High Quality Sky. Look at that. All right. So beautiful sky right there. I'm just gonna hit my snipping tool. New. Grab a little piece of it like that. About about the same dimensions. Copy. Come back over here. And then on that background layer, paste that in. What I can do is I can joink like that, scale it up, bam, thumbnail done. Well, not really. I mean, there's much more to this that you can uh, you can throw in. The main portion is this guy right here, the different layers for the background, and how to how to cut out your avatar. That's the that's the main thing. This green screen ability. Okay, and give yourself some room to, to do animations. And that's not the only thing this is for. You can, you can use an, the moon animator to create your own animations, like make your avatar walk around and do different things. It's just, it's up to you. And there's not really a limit as to what it can do. All right, so keep plugging along. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things post call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. One last thing before I go, because, uh, hold on, I need to go look up a name and I'll, I'll do it with an avatar that I know. Hang, hang tight. Okay, I'm back. So say your friend Hunter or whoever your friend is, is inside the game and you want to use their avatar in your thumbnail as well. So come over here to uh, their user profile, grab this number up here, copy, okay? That's basically the appearance ID that appears inside here. So if we hit F5, I think, and then here's me as the player, there's my character over there. I'm going to click on players, open, click on my name, Character appearance ID right here. Paste that in. Hit enter. And then I'm going to reset my character. So if I reset. Oof. Oof. I should now be. Oh. What? Hold on. There it is. Okay. So I figured out what it was. So it's it's not in here. Okay. So when you're looking at this, because now I'm Hunter, right? Current view is client side. You can't change players from client side. So what you have to do is you have to hit the current view to current server, and then like come over here to players, grab this one and change this ID. So this is the ID that you have to change. So let's just go grab another one of my friends and somebody that's online, Okoza. So here's Akoza's ID, copy. I'm in the server side. I'm changing my appearance ID, paste like that, enter. Go back to client side and hold on. Why, why can't I, where's the thing? Oh, oh, I gotta click first, there we go. And I did not want to start up another instance, thank you. Oh gosh, you're gonna crash me. All right, and we're going to reset character. Yes. There goes Hunter, and there's a Koza. Hey, buddy. <laughs> so 
That's how you change the character. And then once you have this, wait until the character is not animated, go into the workspace, grab yourself and copy, stop and paste into the workspace. Paste into. So now we have a Koza. Hey, buddy. Uh, although it's named Code Primate, a Koza. There we go. Um, so what we can do, file, save, file, new animation, and we're gonna call this a Koza pose, like that. Confirm, edit, add item, or sorry, item, add item, and then we click on a Koza, click OK, and now we can animate him. So, twist, 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 twist. Grab his head and have him look left, right, left, right, left, right. Turn. We're going to just do, do something like this. Let's, hey, buddy. We're going to have you pointing at the sky here. Hold on. I need to turn like this. We're going up like that. I'm going to turn it out a little bit. And now we're going to have you, let's see, let's bend slightly at the waist and bend back at the hips, bend forward at the legs, bend the legs out slightly, and give give the legs a little bit of a bend. So, grab this one, no, 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 wrong way, wrong way, control Z, bend, and then the foot can come up like that. Wasn't too much of a bend right there, was there? All right, there we go. Let's make it drastically changed on that one. There we go. And then this one, go out slightly and back. Bend at the el oh, control Z, bend at the elbow and bend at the hand. So now we have him in a superhero pose of some kind. What, whatever the case may be. It's your choice, like I said. Anyhow, let me get out of here. I've been taking up way too much of your time. Love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. <sighs> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.